Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Alexis Davis had given her daughter far too many warnings. Alexis lays out some hard facts regarding pregnancy for Christina in the General Hospital recap for today, December 14, 2023. In this episode, Joss and Trina attempted to assist Adam. Ava learned her stalker was there in front of her, Dante began to question Anna, and Sunny made a great gesture. Let's delve a little deeper into the details now. Molly and Christina went up at Alexis to announce their plans for surrogacy. They were happy, excited, and most importantly prepared. Very prepared. They are more prepared than they have ever been in their entire lives. TJ agreed as well. Alexis appeared to be content. She was at least while Molly was around. Alexis, on the other hand, spoke out when Molly was called to work. It would be an understatement to say she wasn't feeling it. Alexis lay everything down for Christina. She was pleased that her daughter wanted to help and was eager to provide Molly with a family. Was Christina, on the other hand, prepared for the dangers? What about the hormones? What are the changes? A baby transforms people. Christina insisted she had fought it through and told Alexis that she had educated herself. Alexis eventually stopped lecturing and offered her assistance. Meanwhile, Ava, Mora West, returned to the condo, but her tranquility was short-lived. She opened her purse to find another photo of Austin inside an envelope. This time, the note instructed her not to inform anyone. She, on the other hand, ignored that warning. Nina got all the tea because Ava spilled it. She also told Nina that she was certain Nicholas was playing these games. He was the only one who despised her enough to kill, frame her for murder, and taunt her in this manner. Ava later discovered a gun and a message in her desk drawer after Nina had departed. The letter added this time, you never know when you'll need it. Speaking about murders and crimes, Dante informed Sam of his discoveries and his anxieties. The package from the locker contained the Forsyth file, which did not bode well for Anna. He even wondered if Anna altered history in her mind. This sparked a heated debate about whether Dante could even trust Anna. He desired to. He could see why Anna kept the file, but parts of it didn't make sense to him. Everything was pretty mysterious. He then displayed the wallet to Sam. Sam peered inside and discovered a sequence of 21 numerals written on the inside. They were perplexed as to what the statistics indicated and how they related to the WSB report. Renan ran across Carly and Donna in the park at the same moment. He snuck in with them to get a hot chocolate and then back to the park. Donna raced off to play and Brennan did everything he could to make Carly happy. Sunny visited Stella in the hospital he spotted her in the hallway with Felicia, Christina Wagner, and informed her of his holiday plan to bless the hospital and its patients. He volunteered to fund all holiday cheer. Felicia was overjoyed and remarked that he reminded her of Santa, which was overheard by pediatric patient Lindsay. She corrected Felicia. She then pondered whether Santa would even locate her this year. He would indeed. The hospital would see to it. Stella pondered what prompted Sonny to be so generous. He was doing it to remember Mike. His father was one of the most giving people they had ever met. What a wonderful way to celebrate his memory. Meanwhile, Joss and Trina saw Adam playing guitar outside their door. Creepy, no, impressive. Yes, they were so impressed that they invited him back in to play some more. He was then invited to Kelly's. They got to know Adam better and discovered his parents had no idea what he needed or enjoyed. Christina is about to reveal her huge decision with Sonny Corinthos. General Hospital teasers for December 14, 2023, hint to a lot of future talk, with Christina and Molly's surrogacy plans taking center stage. In addition, two ladies appear while Carly applies pressure to Ava during a talk. The only option is to sit back, get some popcorn, and watch the fireworks. Christina is on a mini surrogacy announcement tour right now. She's telling her family that she and Molly are on the same page as sisters and with their fertility quest. 
Sam set aside her worries to express her joy for her sisters. Alexis was also included in the conversation. Christina appears to be breaking the news to her father now. Sonny and Christina's father-slash-daughter relationship is wonderful because he is typically supportive of whatever makes her happy. Will that be the case in this situation? Or will Sonny provide another angle on this surrogacy story? Meanwhile, teases indicate that TJ has doubts. This could be related to his professional life, a medical procedure for one of his patients. It's more than likely related to the surrogacy. When Molly first told him about Christina's offer, he appeared skeptical. He immediately agreed when he learned Molly was all right with her sister carrying their child. But what if he still has reservations? Will he reveal his thoughts? Christina and Molly's mother plans to confide in Gregory, Gregory Harrison. It's usually the opposite way around. What does Alexis require so desperately that she seeks advice from a friend? Is what's on her mind about business, her soon-to-be growing family, or something else going on in her life? Ava's social life has recently consisted of passionate debates, rigorous interrogations, and highly incriminating confession sessions. So, until the identity of Austin's murderer is uncovered, expect Ava's talks to stay caustic and slash or explosive. Sure, Carly and Ava's relationship isn't hostile these days. They get along very fine. However, you never know when a spat may break out between these two alpha females. How will Arthur react when Carly presses her for answers? Will she go up or down? Diane and Robert have been in a slow-burning relationship for months. It's time for this couple to up the ant in their relationship. When they talk about their future, what will they decide? Is this a joint living situation? Or is this a pre-breakup situation before things turn more serious? Mornings on Soap Hub are for discussion or wild speculation about General Hospital's current stories, where they're heading, how they're doing, and sometimes just what we're expecting to see in Port Charles in the near future. This one is really appealing to us. Ned Quatermain appears to be blackmailing Nunna for harmful Aurora information. On General Hospital, it appears that Ned Quatermain will keep his super secret that he is not guilty of whistleblowing a little longer. When he ditched his Eddie Main image, he remembered Nina was the one who got Michael and Drew into the SEC, not him. Surprisingly, he allowed Olivia to persuade him to keep his lips shut. He now has a strategy that could put a stop to him, cleaning his reputation anytime soon. Instead, Ned, Waddy Kurth, attempts to coerce Miss Nina Reeves, Cynthia Watros, into revealing information about Aurora's behind-the-scenes agreements, which Michael, Chad Duell, and Drew, Cameron Matheson, are attempting. What is the plan here? After all, Michael is already taking advantage of Nina's leaks to limit her time with Willow, Caitlin McMullen, and Wiley Viron Weaver. He's also making sure Carly, Laura Wright, gets her interest in the Metro Court Hotel back. For the record, the latter has not yet occurred. Ned now wants to do the same, if Nina doesn't find material at Aurora that hurts Michael and Drew, while strengthening Ned's position at ELQ, he'll flee and tell Willow everything. Will Nina accept this shady dealing offer? Because it's Nina, one never knows. She has a knack for getting out of sticky situations. Having said that, isn't Nina already dealing with a lot? She is now perhaps being blackmailed twice by Michael and Ned. Meanwhile, Anna, Fanola Hughes, is staring at her since she destroyed the footage of Charlotte breaking into her Metro Court hotel room. She's also holding some of Ava's, Maura West, secrets. Sonny, Morris Bernard, had no idea she's the one who turned Carly and drew in to the SEC. This woman is under a lot of stress. How long before Nina's back hits out from carrying all of this hazardous baggage? Look, it's fantastic that Ned is seeking assistance from Nina. Unfortunately, it has been contaminated by the blackmail stigma. Wouldn't it be better if Quartermain simply volunteered to join forces with the Crimson Executive in a fight against Michael and Drew? Because the two have been twirling their mustaches in an attempt to wrest ELQ from Ned's grass. They said behind Ned's back that he's incompetent at his work.
They didn't even wait for Ned to regain his memory before attempting to seize power. Unfortunately, Ned is not privy to these strategic exchanges. Perhaps he'd take matters into his own hands and forget Nina turned in two people who had truly committed a crime. Drew and Michael could be seriously harmed by Ned and Nina's platonic relationship. They find a way to give them both what they desired. Who knows, this could be the surprise collaboration we all deserve. Furthermore, Nina is an extremely resourceful ally to have, if a little disorganized and dirty. However, if you put her back against the wall, she may be less likely to offer her specific kind of assistance. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.